throughout the four corners of the globe. We give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles. Great millstone. Peace and shalom to the elect that's pushing out this word throughout the four corners of the globe. And sincerity and the truth for the edification of the house of Dawah Da. This is why we do these lessons. It's your brother Shema Amar from the D.C. camp. Shalom to you. Hope you're in good spirits. Uh, we're going to get straight to the scripture. This is the book of Jonah. The book of Jonah, the second chapter. And we're going to start at the first verse and we're going to read down and we're going to speak about what had Jonah had prophesied and the um, torment that he went through. Uh, even though it was torment, it was for a reason. And the understanding of what he had gone through helps build our character for the things that we go through. Um, and the deliverance from the things that you go through. And that's the whole point of the lesson. Um, Jonah 1, Jonah uh, second chapter, first verse, it said, Then Jonah prayed unto Yahweh. When you look up the word L-O-R-D in all caps, this is the Heavenly Father's name, Yahweh. All right, Yahi, Hawa is or to be. His power, God is power or judge, ruler. He says, and Jonah prayed unto Yahweh, his power, out of the fish's belly, because he was swallowed up in the previous chapter, um, because he didn't want to go to Nineveh. But you can read that on your own. It says, and he uh, and said, I cried by reason of my affliction unto Yahweh. And he heard me out of the belly of hell, cried I, and thou heardest my voice. Now it says, he cried. When you look at the Hebrew word cry, right? You look up the word cry. We should already know it because we went over these scriptures so many times. When you cry is quara, right? It means to call call out, recite, read, cry out, and proclaim. When you cry, right, a baby cries what he's doing, crying out. What he's doing is speaking out. This is the only thing that a baby know, to cry, you know, with tears. But Jonah said he cried because of his affliction to the Lord. And the Lord heard him, right? It says here to summon, invite, call for. So Jonah called for the most high. And it says here, name, give name to. You call to Yahweh for your reason of the predicament you're in. Like we say all the time that the name of the Lord Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, and his son who died on the cross, Yahweh Shai, are the two most important names that a man of Israel could ever know. When you call, pray, when you are in a tight spot, you must call to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. These are the names, right, that are sent to the Heavenly Father, to Yahweh Shai, to the altar for the reason that you're in and the reason why you call them. So going back, it says, he cried by reason of his affliction out of the belly of hell. Now he was in the fish's belly and he called it hell. Why? Because he was in a harsh predicament. Wait a minute. I'm in the belly. I was supposed to do something. I didn't do it. Now I'm swallowed up. Now I cry. I have to. I'm in a tight spot. Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? All right. This is for us today. For thou hadst cast me into the deep, 
in the midst of the sea, and the floods compass me about. All thy billows and thy waves passed over me. This is the predicament that he's in. Tossed, flooded, in the deep, in the sea, harsh places. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again towards the holy temple. And that's the reason for the cry, that you must come back to what you left from. You left from the Lord, you was out of his sight, and you're now in a bad predicament or a bad place. So you must always come back to the holy temple. The holy temple is of the Lord. Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? The waters could pass me about even to the soul, so he felt it. This is what we feel when we're in a tight spot. The depths close me about, round about. The weeds are wrapped around my head. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me forever. Yet has thou brought up my life from corruption. O power, Lord, Yahweh, my power. Even though I'm in this tight spot, you are the only one that could deliver. You are the only one that can save me from the tight spot that I'm in. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered Yahweh. And my prayer came in unto thee, into thy holy temple, heaven, through the angels. That message, that request, that petition, to get me out of this tight spot. That they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. Because people do things the way they want to do things. You can't stop a person from thinking his way is right. But the mercy comes from Yahweh. So who is the petition supposed to go to? The one that got you in that tight spot, not your own doings. You can't save yourself. You can't. The one who put you in that predicament is the one that's going to get you out of that predicament because he's the one that put you in that predicament. But I will sacrifice unto thee, Yahweh, with the voice of thanksgiving. I'll praise you. Call halal Yahweh Shimei Shai. That's my sacrifice. That's my reasonable service. To look to you for salvation. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of Yahweh, not yourself. Not what you do. I'm getting myself out this jam. No. Yahweh put you in the jam and you must bow down and must humble down to the one who put you in that position because you think it's of yourself and you think you could get yourself out. That's not a sacrifice. You see, let's look at this word sacrifice. What you do, get yourself out of jam, is not a sacrifice. It says to slaughter, kill, sacrifice, sacrifice, right? It says here, slaughter of an animal, this is the sacrifice. So you're not slaughtering yourself. So what are you giving as a sacrifice to get yourself out the jam? Well, we were given, the nation of Israel, was given an ultimate sacrifice. That's Yahweh Shai, the one who died on the cross, 
who the world called Jesus. He is the one that sacrificed or was sacrificed for the sins of our people, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. So whatever jam you're in, this is who you call upon. You call upon the one that can give you mercy, the one who sacrificed himself, right? The one who got, the one who who was sacrificed for our predicaments that we're going to go in. He know what we're going to go in because he's the one who made it happen. You see, you must give an offering or a sacrifice to get you out your jam. You don't do that on your own. An offer is made by killing of something else. It must be blood to be sacrificed to get you out that jam or to alleviate your sins, your uh, 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 transgressions. This is why a sacrifice is needed. And we give thanks to that ultimate sacrifice, which is Yahweh, right? Which is Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from our own transgressions. And this is the point and the title of this video. And Yahweh spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. And this is where we want to be on dry land, not in uh, 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 seas, bottom of the seas, bottom of mountains, which is in the waters, surrounded, drowning, compassed about, being tossed to and fro with waves. Those are transgressions. Those are the, uh, are the result of your transgressions. We want to be on dry land. So this is why I titled this, and we're going to go to the next scripture. Vomit me out on the dry land. This is where we want to be. Psalms 18 and 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, Yahweh, who spake unto Yahweh the words of this song in the day that Yahweh delivered him from the hand of all his enemy. This is dry land. And from the hand of Saul. And he said, I will love thee, O Yahweh, my strength. Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My power, my strength, in whom I will trust my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. And when 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 the scriptures say in the Old Testament, so-called Old Testament, it says, call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. That includes Yahweh Shah, because he was the sacrifice to Yahweh for saving us out of the hand of our enemies. He sealed the deal for us to be delivered if you believe on the sacrifice. Because you're supposed to believe on the sacrifice. This is the this is what gets you out the jam. This is what delivers your uh, deliver your soul from sin. The sacrifice. So you must deliver you must praise the sacrifice. The sacrifice is important. When the, when the, when the, when Israel was to bring offerings unto the Lord, right? It had to be of a certain kind. It couldn't just be any kind of sacrifice, but it must have a certain, uh, it had to have a certain look, have a certain, uh, uh, attribute, right? It had to be perfect without blemish. It had to be of a certain animal, right? It had to be given, uh, alive to the priest so it could, so it could send up a savor or a smell to Yahweh 
to forgive that person of his sins. So it had to be a certain, it had to be a certain uh, 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 look, like I said, look, what it was, what it is. It had to meet a certain criteria to be a sacrifice unto the Lord. Okay? To save you from your sins and your enemy is a result of your sins. The sorrows of death, verse 4, compass me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. This is the same predicament Jonah was in, afraid of the condition that he was in. The sorrows of hell compass me about, not talking about a place of torment, fire and brimstone, and a man red with a tail and a pitchfork. No, it's talking about the condition that you're in. It says men compass me about. Those are the seas. You see, those are the those are the things that surround you, men, because of the sins that you committed. It says, in my distress, I called upon Yahweh, and I'm gonna say by Hashem Yahweh Shai in the name of Yahweh Shai. In these times, this is what you must say. This is what you must understand that these words, these names, this calling is important to your salvation, to your deliverance. He heard my voice out of his temple in heaven, in his holy place, and my cry came before him even into his ears, delivered by the angels. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was wroth. Talking about the heavenly father, Yahweh. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. The earth moved at the presence because of what was going on. Yahabashim Yahashah do not like his uh, 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 people in a distress. Wait a minute, what's going on? If I got to lift up the finger, right? Something's going to move. Something's going to happen. People going to know. And this is the trembling, right? Of the land, of the earth. Because of Yahabah, Shimei Hashai got to move and make things happen. People just don't move without noise and distress. People say, oh, that ain't nothing. That's just an earthquake. No, the Lord is making things move. So you could be afraid. Because sorrow and death, right? You ain't seen nothing yet. Hebrews 5, it says here that in my distress, I call upon the Lord, right? That calling, that Korah, right? This is uh, Hebrews 5 and 1. For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to the heavenly father, Yahweh, by Shemuel Shai that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins, right? These gifts, this sacrifice, right? Used to be a lamb, a turtle dove, right? But now that sacrifice is what we do in our body. That is the new sacrifice. The sacrifice is us given all that we can. That's our reasonable service. We have no temple to, to give or offering or gift to the priest. Right. So we, what we do now is in our soul, in our body, in our walk in this life. Right. Who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way for that? He himself also is compassed with infirmities. Right. 
They don't know what they're going through. They don't know why they're going through it, right? Lord winks at the ignorance of men. However, they still going to go through it until they learn the ways of Yahweh Shemel Shai. That, you know what? I'm doing something wrong. Why is this always happening to me? These gifts that you give, that body, that turning around, that repentance is the most important thing that we have today. And by reason thereof, he ought as for the people, so also for himself to offer for sins. That priest, right? And no man taketh his honor unto himself. You're not doing it of yourself. But he that is called of Yahweh, as was Aaron. Aaron did this because he was called upon to do this, to hold this office, just like we are today. We're like in the stead of Aaron. Why? Because now the whole house, right, of David are now the high priest, the priests, right? Because now the whole house of David is now priests. To Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Remember the temple being rent gave us access through Yahweh Shai to the Heavenly Father to hear us again. Because we were no people because of the uh, uh, the continuance of sin over sin on top of sin, but we needed a sacrifice, which is Yahweh Shai. So, also Christ glorified not himself to be made a high priest, but he that said unto him, Thou art my son, today have I begotten thee. As he said also in another place, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Mount Chesedek, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up prayers and supplication with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death and was heard in that he feared. Very important. Very, very important that the supplications, tears, crying unto Yahweh, to, to Yahweh, to save him from death was Heard, and that's the point. That's the dry land being heard. Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. And this suffering that we go through, you learn. You learn from the sufferings that you go through. Why? Because you don't want to go through it again. That suffering's hurt. Lord, save you from them sufferings. You don't want to go through them again. And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. This is the point. This is what it is. This is where we at. It says he became, Yahweh Shai, became the author of eternal salvation, continuance to them that obey him. Give me the dry land. This is where I need to be. Called of God, a high priest after the order of Mount Chesedek, verse 11, of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing. For some, for some are still dull of hearing. They can't hear it, even though we explain it so plainly. And the scripture of old teaches us For when the time you ought to be teaching, you have need that one teach you again and again and again, which be the first principles of the oracles of the Heavenly Father and are become such as have need of milk and not strong meat. This is why we make it plain. This is why we teach the elect, because it's going to be so plain to them. You don't have to keep teaching them over and over again that, the suffering that you're in is because you don't want to cry out to Yahweh by Shem Shai. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of, of righteousness.
for he is a babe, but strong meat belong to them that are full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. That's when you when you're discerning, right, both good and evil, now you can understand why and have an answer for that why. You can say what and have an answer for that what. How come? Why is this? Well, now we have an understanding and an answer for why all these things happen and the escape to get out. We give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Shemel Shai. Shalom.